that's the way you do it. You play the guitar on the end. Here we are at Ocean City, Maryland. Test day. We're getting ready to go out and uh, test the sea conditions. It's going to be a little bumpy out there, so stand by. I am uh, Tyler Crockett with RWO. I'm impressed with a brand new team. It comes out and runs as well as they have. The Dirty Money boat here. It's nice to see MCON and some of the other teams have some competition for a change. <laughs> Trucks range from different sizes. You got trucks pulling 40s and 50s. You got trucks pulling smaller boats, little 30s. There's a lot of super truckers on the road in today's time. They're America's backbone, and that's why we're thankful for our super trucker here. Truck driving school hero? Yes. Yeah, since I was 18, <laughs> since I'm 50-something now. <laughs> Hauling trusses, wide loads, doing just about anything you can think of. Bobby Adams got me into this in 2011 and been doing it ever since. Fell in love with it from dirt track racing. Love the people in the races. It's a great place to be. A lot of fun. Dope shit like that, Jerm. Oh, hi. Welcome back to kids. Um, follow your dreams. Yeah. I live here in the West yeah, Ocean City, and I saw it. Dirty Money yesterday at the convention center. Thought I'd come in to Harborside and oh, see it actually go into the water. Kind of a racing fan. I've watched many races Careful. down here in Ocean City, and I think this one's going to be really exciting. Out here looking at the boats, excited for the weekend and the racing. Um, excited to see the boats go fast. I think it's going to be a good weekend. Looks like things are laying down nice. Got an awesome boat right behind us here, Dirty Money. Looking real good, sharp. I want to see you guys go fast. Got a three-point lift going on these Super Cat boats. Just getting fired up here this morning, waiting on the first team to come off the trailer. We'll be next up, then get it fired off and see how the day goes. for test day here on Saturday, uh, doing some final adjustments. Uh, go out there and do a little test and tune and see how we do, and then go from there. Phil Houck from Bona Beach Racing. I've been producing all the races here since 1992. The only race site that has seven miles of boardwalk, you can actually watch the race. First race was 1992, and I think it's 34 years ago. And there ain't a race unless you have boats to race. So thank you all for being here. <laughs> We went out for a couple laps just to shake the boat down, getting used to the swells, and then we're going to make a prop change right now and see if we can't pick up the pace a little bit and, you know, just keep the boat together. Second test went a lot better. Really, we had clean water that this time. We didn't have boats in front of us in the turn. So one really clean lap and did everything we wanted to do. Times were where we wanted them and just decided to come on in. Call it a day. Both guys filled the boat a little bit, see what their thoughts were. They feel good about it, so we're uh, headed back to the pits. Going to do a good wash down, get her ready for the morning, get some good food, hang out for a little bit, and uh, be ready to go tomorrow. Just torquing the drives and gimbals and everything on the transom after testing before the race. Make sure everything's tight. And not gonna come apart on us tomorrow. When bolts start getting loose, I've seen drives actually fall off of boats and things like that. So everything nice and tight and torqued to the correct specifications. I'm Eddie. 
Friday. Uh, met these guys last night at Grand Prix Pro Track racing and uh, told me about the boat and really interested in coming out and watching you guys run today. Let's get it, baby. Race day here at Ocean City. Time to put in the work. The guys have been working really hard to get this boat set up. We're super excited. Boat's fast, ready to go to work. And uh, y'all look for us at the finish line. We'll see you there. <laughs> day I think we've got all the bugs worked out and uh, we're in the water all warmed up waiting on our drivers feeling pretty good about it look forward to seeing how this thing's gonna do in some rougher water we had good day testing I think we're close to being the fastest thing out there see you here shortly Me and the guys the whole crew has been working hard after last weekend's race at Lotto going back to Maryland to brick shop full motors full drives go through our checklist go through everything fix everything we saw or could find. Everything's good both side and uh, hopefully take home back to back wins. The baddest thing on the water, man. You come down to the pits, hang out with your friends, family. I haven't raced here in a few years, but uh, super pumped, super excited. I know these waters pretty well. Um, it's going to be a bumpy one today, so you're going to see some uh, a lot of action, a lot of flying. <laughs> Just finished, uh, got out to third place in the beginning of the race. Was able to uh, pass Graydell and Monster. Held on to the lead all the way up to the last turn. Escape hatch open, filled the boat full of water. We couldn't see anything. I couldn't hold it tight. One of those things that happened. Ended up taking second today. So hats off to the Monster guys and everybody else out there. But to be back home safe, we'll win another day. Second place today by Benny Laps. Dramatic takeover in first place after lap number two. It's so close here today. Dirty Money Racing, Bill Power. Dirty Money. Thank you very much. Good night.